Ah, yes, the flat pedal. Also known as the platform pedal. They are the mashed potatoes and gravy of the cycling world. The safest bet. Comforting to the user. So simple and easy, no thought or setup required. Just step on and enjoy. That is until you go shopping for a new set. There are a ton of flat pedal choices out there. They come in so many sizes, shapes, colors, and materials that it can be overwhelming trying to pick the right pair. Some of us can and will ride whatever without thought, while some of us are a little more picky about what we like. In this video, we'll cover the common features found in many flat pedals on the market. So the next time you're shopping for flats, you'll be armed with enough info to be dangerous. You can spend as little as $20 to as much as $300 for a set of mountain bike flat pedals. Fortunately, there are plenty of options available at many of the price points. First, let's talk about pedal contour. Today, there are basically there three go. styles of platform pedals. Flat, concave, and convex. As you would imagine, the flat contoured pedal has a completely flat interface. Here, the pins provide the overwhelming bulk of the grip. Examples of flat profile pedals are the Spank Uzi and the Crank Brothers Stamp II. Concave pedals have become very common in recent years. These pedals are thicker near the edges and thinner in the center. This allows your foot to sink into the pedal and thus providing more grip. Examples of this design are the Race Face Atlas and the Deity T-Max. The third less common pedal design is the convex pedal. This design takes the opposite approach of the concave. Here the pedals become thinner at the edges and thicker near the spindle. This design allows your foot to wrap around the pedal and thus giving you improved grip as well as improved oh, pedaling efficiency. Firms. Examples of this design are the Canfield Crampon and the 1UP Components pedals. Another factor to consider is what the pedals are made from. The two most common materials that platforms are made from are aluminum and composite, also known as plastic. The spindles are basically made of steel and roll on ball bearings, bushings, or a combination of the two. Cheaper pedals will typically use bushings, and the more expensive pedals will incorporate bearings for durability and serviceability. If you want to splurge, there are a few exotic pedals out there made from more exotic materials like titanium or magnesium. Another factor to consider is platform size. If you have big feet, a small pedal might feel uncomfortable and rob you of needed pedaling efficiency. If you have smaller feet, too big a platform might cause you to hit obstacles more frequently. If minimizing pedal strikes is your thing, consider a thinner profile pedal. Feeling overwhelmed yet? The next step is to pair your pedals with the right shoe. Shoe stiffness and rubber compound will also impact pedaling performance. At the end of the day, the right pedal for you depends on your riding style and what is most comfortable to you. We're lucky to have a lot of great flat pedals to choose from. I hope you found this guide helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If I missed anything, please share in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this leg of my journey. Thanks for watching.